Hi, I'm Glenn with Acronym. Today I'm going to give you a brief review of the USB control interface that's used with Acronym USB hubs. For today's review, I'm going to connect the control interface and show you how it works with our USB Hub 3 Plus host switching hub. I have downloaded the Acronym Hub Tool software interface from the Acronym website. Just go to the support tab and click on downloads, and there you'll find um, the Hub Tool software download for your operating system. I've connected the USB Hub 3P to my laptop via USB cable for this review. When you open up Hub Tool, you'll see that the screen um, initially is blank. Um, you need to actually connect to um, your hub, and you do that by um, down here in the bottom right-hand corner of Hub Tool, you'll see that my um, USB hub is listed here. When I click on that, you'll see that I've connected to my acronym USB hub, and now I have information and um, features available to me. There are a lot of features um, in Hub Tool, and there's a lot of control that you can um, implement or do to the hub. For today's review, I'm just going to touch on um, some of the major ones. So up here in the top left-hand corner, you're going to see there's some system information. So I have the type of model, my serial number, I have the current firmware version, um, that's available to me, operating temperature, and so forth. I've actually um, customized the name of my hub and I've changed it and I'm calling this particular hub Conference Room 1. Next to that, you're going to see we have some information um, for upstream and downstream um, port data. So for um, upstream, um, which is going to be where your host devices connect, we are automatically um, uh, uh, comes um, stock from the factory in upstream auto mode. Some people might refer this to an auto switching mode. So this enables you to um, auto switch between the two upstream host devices automatically. So for example, if you have a device, um, uh, an upstream host device connected to port one, and you um, connect a new upstream uh, host device to port zero, it's going to automatically switch to port zero. When you unplug that device from port zero, it's going to automatically switch back to port one. Below that, um, we do have the ability to save port states. So if you want to actually um, uh, configure ports in different ways, we have the ability to uh, save that um, into the firmware and um, it's going to be set up that way anytime you use the hub after that. Below here in this area, you're going to see all of the eight um, ports listed. So I um, this is actually port zero over here on the left hand side, but I've renamed it and I'm calling it Logitech camera. Next to that, I have a mouse connected and then I have a keyboard connected. Under each one of the ports, you're going to see the ability to toggle on and off some of the different features. So, uh, for example, if I'm looking at the mouse here, I can toggle the power on and off that's going to that port. I can toggle the entire port off. Um, this yellow indicator shows that I have a high-speed connection and I can toggle on and off my data connections. So one of the things that's really handy um, about our uh, USB hubs is that we can actually turn a port on and then turn a port back on. Um, I'm sorry, turn a port off and turn a port back on. So the action of turning a port off and then turning a port back on essentially simulates the same thing as unplugging the USB cable and plugging it back in. This is a really nice feature when you have a USB device that's behaving poorly and you need to recycle that device without physically 
unplugging and plugging the cable um, back in. You'll see below, down in this area, um, you can see that this particular uh, port is outputting 5 volts of power. Um, and when I turn that port on, you'll see the power stops. And when I turn the port back, um, turn the port back on, sorry, when I turn it off and turn back on, you'll see that it starts back up again. So again, same control for, um, for all of the uh, um, eight ports on the USB um, a plus. Um, there is one um, nice feature down here at the bottom. Uh, we have a uh, firmware management tool. So if I click on that, um, I will, um, and then click on discover, it's going to find my hub. My, and you'll see my serial number here. You'll see the current version number, and you'll see that the firmware is currently up to date. Uh, if it was not, this would say um, update available, and you just click on update, and HubTool will automatically um, update the firmware on your USB hub. Thank you for watching the HubTool review today. If you have any questions about HubTool, or any of the Acroname USB products, please contact sales at acroname.com.